Hello everyone, this is part 2 of Flutter subscription. Previously we created our iOS app and created subscription products in App Store Connect. And we got weekly, yearly plans having different prices. Okay. Now we are going to start with our blank main dot dot file. Currently we don't have anything in our view. Before that, you will see some file in the video description okay you have to download it this is that open it using visual studio code okay now on the top of file you will see this uh, dependence records in app purchase and in app purchase stock it you have to copy both and open your publicspec.yaml file okay here on the dependencies you can paste those i will paste those below this uh, new icons okay now I have one comment everything here we got in app purchase and in app purchase is stock it now you can go ahead and save this file and uh, go to terminal new terminal you can run the command flutter pubget sometimes uh, visual studio code will do that for you automatically you don't have to execute this command okay now the next step is uh, in our main dot dot currently we don't have any view we are going to create some view to open this uh, sample subscription page currently we don't have that also here we are going to create it but first of all let's modify this my app okay but I don't want to teach you code here all you have to do is just uh, download this main dot dot file in the video description and you have to copy everything in that file and paste like this that's how you can code okay just copy and paste all right now the next thing is just uh, create a new file here in the live i'm going to say that is as simple underscore subscription underscore page dot dot and again open the downloaded file and copy everything is starting from import until widget method here everything and paste that here in your new file okay now the next thing is go to app store connect and uh, here you have to copy your product id which will be i'm going to take weekly one you can add both if needed of course you can use uh, certificate or whatever to modify this code okay now i'm going to close downloaded file here otherwise i will get confused because all the names are same okay now i'm going to replace this product id with my one then uh, what we can do just uh, open our us simulator uh, but remember these subscriptions are not working on iOS simulators. You have to uh, try those with your iPhone, iPad. Okay, but uh, let me go ahead and run my simulator. Open iPhone A simulator. I will also run this in my iPhone and show you what's gonna show on my phone. Okay, now my device is running, and we can run the command Flutter run. And we have to select which device we are going to run on. I'm going to press 2 to select iPhone 16 Plus simulator. Yeah, uh, we got some issue in our main.dart file. Yeah, uh, the issue is we incorrectly defined the file name that we created. It should be simple, not sample. Okay, simple that's fine we can go ahead and run again flutter run command okay it's going to run on my simulator now boom here we got our first subscription based application now we can press on this go to subscription page here on the uh, main.dart file you will see only a button available that opens this simple subscription page 
that's all this home page is doing let's go to subscription page now if you press on this buy subscription button you can see nothing is showing the reason is it shows no products available to purchase but this product id is correct as defined on this app store connect this one correct the reason is if you go to your iphone settings go to settings and below you will see some button called uh, developer go to there and it's called the bottom and you will see the sandbox apple account currently it is empty uh, we need to add a sandbox apple account to test in a purchase in sandbox all right now what we have to go to this uses and access on app store connect and let me show you another way where you can go there on this app store connect home page you will see this user user sign access now here go to this sandbox as you can see we don't have any sandbox accounts yet you can use sandbox test account to make sure your app works with in a purchase as expected now press on this add test account you have to enter your first name last name and email address then uh, not connected to apple yet maybe you can go ahead and create a new uh, gmail account i strongly recommend you to create a new gmail account for this and i'm going to create it for you now we can press on this create account for my personal use i'm going to enter my name and birthday and gender male okay uh we can choose the one actually we shall go on 36 at gmail.com i'm going to enter some password all right here we go i'm going to press next because email address i don't need one okay next i agree all right we got our email address the next thing go to app store connect again i'm going to enter first name last name here we can paste our email address and enter some strong password i don't know what's the point of keeping a sandbox account password stronger okay enter your country i'm going to select country here create it all right now we created our sandbox test account go to your iphone uh, or simulator in this developer below you see this sandbox apple account click sign in here let me do some quick page refresh okay we got our sandbox account created and in simulator click sign in i'm going to paste my email address and we had to enter the password using this uh display keyboard don't use your laptop keyboard because if you press uh, some capital letters that's not gonna uh, enter will happen something else okay to open the keyboard click i o select keyboard and click on this toggle software keyboard okay i'm going to enter the strong password that i added hopefully you can see what i'm entering now but guys that's not my password and my original accounts don't worry all right now click done okay this time it is going to give some otp code verification click continue that's why i ask you to create a gmail account for this same call open your gmail okay here we got the code I can enter that here zero two six five and six one all right for the second verification they are asking a phone number verification I don't know why this is happening this is just a sandbox account let me try this is my phone number hopefully you can make a call to me yeah i got the code four six nine eight two two so guys even though i done everything here 
it is not signing in what i can do i'm going to test this with my uh, actual iphone i'm going to cross the simulator i don't want it and i will use iphone really and this is my iphone and we can sign in with that now email address is ashen ishanka136 at gmail.com ok i entered the password and will sign in now let me see uh, yeah we added the account finally ok now what we can do is just run the app with our actual device we can run flat run, run command and select our iphone here it will ask on which device i selected my iphone it's gonna run now okay finally we was able to run our application on our physical device now i can go to subscription page and test on this by subscription i pressed the button let me see what's gonna show here yeah we can see our subscription product is showing us thing us to purchase it what we can do we can click subscribe and it is going to ask me sandbox account password guys this is not going to charge you money this is for just testing purpose enter your sandbox account password i will do it using my phone okay i successfully able to do the purchase here it was successful right now we also able to do some subscription it's right here here if you press the subscribe again you are currently subscribed to this it will expire on this day and that's it that's how we can go for subscriptions so guys you will able to uh, change this code as you need because you may have to add multiple subscription products use chat gpt or whatever but this is the base code remember to add these dependencies on public spec that you are in and also make sure you create necessary uh, sandbox accounts here as i told you all right i hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe thank you